Hello, hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the 3rd of December. It is a Friday. It is currently 9 o'clock in the morning. I am not only exhausted. still a bit sleepy but alas we have a, a, a simple day today I'm not going anywhere doing pretty much anything I think I'm just gonna cook some food I need to defrost my fridge you see these are the things people don't tell you about being an adult no one told me that I'd have to defrost my fridge regularly and now I have to do it because it's insane like the ice is too much but that's because of my own laziness but alas Alas. So, <laughs> stay tuned for my boring day in the life of a home cook doing nothing but the things that a home cook does. Enjoy the video. Alright, so, I'm gonna do this before I start my day. Sure, everything that needs to frost, frost is where I get ready for the day. So, continue cleaning out my fridge and everything and then I think I'm gonna do some schoolwork, boring stuff and I'll come and we'll make some 
lunch slash dinner-ish. I don't know what time I'll decide to go. But yeah, there's nothing much going on in my day today. Just wanted to share the trials and tribulations of being an adult. And you know when I was a kid, I used to take for granted everything, like everything that people used to do for me. Because you don't realize that when you're an adult, no one is going to do the same things they used to do for you. And now you're expected to do them for yourself. So, trauma. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Am I? Long. Anyway, see you guys later. Alright, so right now I'm deciding what I should make for lunch slash dinner because I only cook once a day for the most part. And I think I'm gonna make some like fried chicken tenders and like wedges or something because I don't wanna do too much and I kind of really want chicken. So I'm just making, this is not like a recipe video, you're just watching me cook, okay? I'm making, what do you call it? Uh, brine. Buttermilk, buttermilk brine. And I'm just seasoning it up a bit. for the holidays. I've always been a Christmas person, but um, I don't know how this year is going to go, <laughs> but I've always been like a Christmas holiday person. I do all the cooking every year, even before I started doing these videos and everything. I used to do the cooking on Christmas. Um, I don't know how this year is going to go, if we're even going to celebrate Christmas. I'm enjoying it right now. Oh, this is my big, this is, this is one of the things I'm most proud of in my life. I have a big jug of vinegar, because I clean, I cook, I do everything with this vinegar. Everything. <laughs> but yeah, I've always had interesting experiences though. When it comes to Christmas and stuff, because something always happens, someone always gets into an argument. <laughs> Lol, should I give you guys a story time? Let me give you guys a story time. Okay, so here's this. <laughs> ah, I can't believe I'm talking about this, but here's the story time. One year on Christmas, this feels so recent, but one year on Christmas, um, my cousins from the UK had come, so we had like a lot, a lot of activities happening, and I think that was the year for Banner Boy, and like so many, so many things were going on, right? Then I remember at the time I was dating someone, and then I remember them telling me, like, I'm breaking up with you on Christmas, you need to enjoy anything. Like, it was such a malicious thing to do, but I had a really, really good Christmas that year. But there was also another time that I was broken up with on Christmas Day. Hey, when I look back at my life, what was I doing, man? I was so young. I was like in high school. How? What was I doing? <laughs> like, how did I even reach there? How did I reach that level of insanity that someone is literally, like, purposefully ruining my Christmas because, you know, I'm out here in these streets living my life. But alas, we move character development you guys you know I think if I hadn't gone through those experiences I probably wouldn't be the person that I am today and I wouldn't have like I wouldn't have the same mentality and drive and ambition because I guess your experiences in the past kind of they, they shape who you are and who you're trying to be you know but I feel like that one was just like a lot like how do you break up with someone on Christmas you know like really, how do you, on Christmas day in fact, like I remember being at my Christmas barbecue reading messages and being like, looks like we're getting drunk. <laughs> it was such a crazy time. And to think back then, like I thought that was the end of the world, like I was so sad. And then like now it's like, do I even remember the name of the person who even broke up with me, you know? <laughs> Uh, if you're watching
watching this hey boo how you doing with your evil ass <laughs> yeah so we're making some chicken tenders but I don't know I feel like dating when you're in high school and I had a conversation um, with someone about this dating when you're in high school is like a fever dream because it's not real and some people they meet like the love of their lives and they go on to have 60 children and live for 60 years and be married for 160 years, you know? But like others, it's not in the cards for you, babe. For the most part, most, most, most high school relationships don't work out. So like, what is the point? But I guess the point is learning, you know, learning how to be with someone. Because no one teaches you how to be in a relationship. No one even teaches you how to nurture relationships. You're just expected to be able to do it just randomly. Mm -mm. But I think, yeah, dating in your 20s, like now dating now is for me, for me it's like I know what I want, I know what I don't want, I know what I'm willing to accept, what I'm willing to endure. <laughs> Because I don't think love should be about suffering. I don't think relationships should be about constantly crying, constantly being on the phone, arguing, fighting. Like, it should not be that difficult to be with someone. And if it is that difficult, maybe you're just not supposed to be together. Because a lot of people forget that, like, just because you like this person and you're in a relationship with them, it doesn't mean you're supposed to be together. It doesn't mean that you are destined for you know marriage and children and a white picket fence sometimes people just come into your life for a season and a reason to teach you something to show you something to help you grow to help build your character so yeah i think you just it's, it's that discerning wisdom of knowing who is a permanent fixture in your life and who is not it's something that's invaluable that you're never really taught and you're just supposed to figure it out on your own and if you don't figure it out on your own you spend the rest of your life in the wrong relationships in the wrong friendships in the wrong workplace wrong everything because you have not reached that level of understanding self-awareness and i guess wisdom of knowing what is for you and what is not for you catch my vibe my dream <laughs> But I do think there is something to be said about people my age and how when we were in high school, we were in such intense, deep relationships. Well, not most people, but some. And I think that was just, it was a cry for help. <laughs> it was a cry for help because I had no business saying half of the shit I used to say when I was in high school and my multitude of relationships failed relationships my I had. They all brought me nothing but like character development and pain and fit and then the need for therapy. Like <laughs> I could have done without. But um I think at a time I was just trying to grow up too fast, you know, trying to be an adult before I was ready or even understood any of it. And I think it's just because like as a child I had to grow up really fast, you know. So I thought that it kind of translates in all aspects of your life. If you're growing up really quickly emotionally, then romantically I guess it should also be the same way. But then I was I was just not in the <laughs> right I didn't have the capacity. <laughs> we did not have the capacity for such. Yeah, but I mean, I learned, I learned a lot about myself, about um, what I'm willing to accept and how far I'm willing to go in the pursuit of what I would call idealized love, where you think you're in love, where you think you have these really big, deep emotions, these big, deep, intense feelings for someone, when it's really just you trying to convince yourself that because that's what you want, you know? You're kind of like, <laughs> sounds delusional, but like you're kind of creating your own, or call it like creating your own reality for the most part, because it wasn't real. Like none of it was real. I was, but man, at least I've come far. <laughs> I 
it could have been worse. It really could have been worse. But I feel like the whole high school experience for me was just, like the last four years of high school was just mm, narrow. I could have done without. I really could have done without. I was very confused, very, mm, I think, yeah, confused is probably the right word because I don't even know how else to explain what the fuck was going on. Like even now, when I talk to my friends and we talk about stories from then, I'm like, I don't want to hear it. I just, I'm not interested. <laughs> and it's not because like, oh, like I didn't have a good friend group or anything like that. It's more like the experiences do not resonate with me anymore because I'm no longer that person. But yeah, thanks for listening to my story time, my ramblings. And uh, we shall see each other at like 3 o'clock when I decide to look. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I just ate lunch. I'm super full and I still have to clean the kitchen. I'm exhausted. But yeah, oh my gosh. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.